the wildlife in London, you, some of it you won't get outside London, you know, in the countryside. It's like a sanctuary, your gardens. Being a London boy, it's nice to uh, have that kind of thing. And here, on the labels, if you don't know, you have, like, be bird friendly, wildlife friendly. So if you've got a small garden, you can buy a, a few small, small plants to encourage that. So instead of having a plant that doesn't really attract wildlife, you can buy a few small plants and it will attract wildlife. It's important for the gardens of London to attract bees and things like that. You know. And this borough is quite fortunate with the amount of green spaces it's got. What the council have done, is instead of just having a flat green uh, park with just a, a, a couple of ornamental trees, if you look where the, the um, dual carriageway is here, they've planted like a copse of wild trees and bushes. So you don't actually see the traffic when you're on the, uh, part, uh, on the common, but that's good for wildlife as well, because it's like a chain and railways along here. If you look at the, the railways, that's a link for wildlife uh, through London. If you go on the train and you have a look at how many green embankments there are with wild lupins growing and wild flowers growing, it, it's got the trains there, but it's not industrialised because the, the, you know, you've got beautiful trees running along here and things like that.